Hey, what's up? I'm Jason Veganicus. Welcome to my Tread Talk. And today I will be talking about the need to conform, the feeling that you must um, have the same message as everybody else and stay on point with your loved base vegan messaging. Uh, it's all bullshit, guys. It's uh, at a certain point this movement became hijacked by people with ulterior political motives. So the bottom line is if you truly care about animals like I do, be yourself. Be yourself because as much as we like to think so, you're not unique. I'm not unique. Most of us aren't unique. Uh, so whatever your message is, there's going to be somebody out there that needs to hear it and wants to hear it. You know what? At the end of the day, we all have compassion in our hearts and we want to do the right thing. And veganism for the animals is obviously the right thing. So, you know, if everybody is preaching the same message, i.e., you know, um, whatever this whole love-based thing is that they're doing, hey, and I'm for it and I, I support that. And I've noticed since I became vegan, I'm a lot more uh, loving, less aggressive than I ever was. You know, um, part of that could be the aging process, you know, if we're going to be honest about it. But at the same time, I don't have that hatred and anger flowing through my body from murdered animals, you know, that the, the died in pain and suffering, you know. <laughs> Whatever I've got in me, healthy or not, came from plants, ultimately. So, um, what I'm trying to say is don't let the peer pressure to conform to this typical vegan message overcome you. Don't let it overpower you because at the end of the day, there's people out there who think like you. Whether what if you're like a raging maniac? There's other raging maniacs out there that need to hear your message. And I was just talking in a Facebook group um, about that issue. Somebody was calling somebody down for leaving a, an angry message. I think you were calling meat eaters parasites or something. And hey, you know what? That's not my message. I'm not calling anybody a parasite unless they, unless they fucking ask for it specifically. But I support other people saying that because when I was a meat eater, you know, living like I did, um, it took somebody with an attitude like that. It was mainly a lot of it was like Gary Yarofsky, someone like that, saying, um, you know, if you know who Gary Yarofsky is, he says, you know, a lot of angry, sort of hateful things. You know, at first I was like, hey, fuck you, man. You know, don't tell me what to do. And, um, uh, and you know, still, I don't want anyone to tell me what to do. But at the same time, it kind of fired me up and it got me thinking and helped me look into it a little bit further. And if I, you know, and again, being completely honest, I was already sympathetic to the cause. I was already vegetarian by the time I ever heard of Gary Yarofsky. But it was that sort of angry rhetoric that kind of, you know, helped me along my journey. Um, looked further into the dairy farms and the abuse that goes on there. So all I'm trying to say, you see somebody out there with an attitude, hey, oh, that's not what veganism represents. You know what? You're the problem because you are representing your veganism and trying to suppress others and putting your ideas onto others. And that's fucked. If you want to be love-based and you want to just speak all about, you know, oh, like the fairies and the love and the, you know, the, the fairy dust sprinkling out your fucking perfect vegan ass, hey, that's awesome. Go do that. And there's a lot of people that want to hear it. But there's a lot of people that aren't brainwashed fucking zombies and still think for themselves. So don't call them down. Don't discourage them. Or do. Whatever. Do what you want to do. But you're just taking the side of the oppressor when you do that. And you like to think, oh, you know, I'm, you, you, you explain it otherwise when you say that. The bottom line is if you're doing anything to discourage anybody from speaking up, even if they have completely different ideologies than you outside of animal rights, you are taking the side of the oppressor, in this case the animal agriculture industry. So lay the fuck off or don't lay the fuck off. I'm just saying my opinion. It's my YouTube channel. You don't like it? Go fuck yourself. Peace.